and welcome to your sister cooking. Today, guys, I'm going to prepare a vegan lasagna. So what I have here in front of me, guys, is I have me some Beyond Spicy Italian, okay? And it was over there simmering, all right? So it's not quite ready right now because what I want to do is I want to incorporate my vegan meatloaf that I prepared for my family. I'm going to take it and mix this here. Chickpeas, lentil beans, mushrooms, carrots, and different vegetables that I grind up and made into a vegan meatloaf. So I'm going to take that. And I'm going to take that and, and put it back on the stove and I'm going to add me some onions. I'm going to add some bell pepper to it. And we're going to make this into the meat base of our lasagna. So let me show you. I want to share it with you. So look at that. Doesn't that look like meat? If I didn't tell you that this was plant-based, you wouldn't even know. So again, we're going to take this and put it on the fire. And what I have simmering here, guys, is I have simmering here, I have myself some tomato paste that's simmering. And I take that tomato paste and I let it cook so that I can get the acid out of it so that it won't cause any type of acid reflex. You know, sometimes when you're cooking with tomato paste, you got to cook the acid out of there. So that's been simmering for about a good 45 minutes to maybe an hour because I don't like heartburn. I don't know about you. So another thing I have, guys, is I have took the time out and like I say, I wasted nothing, right? So what I did was I freeze all my tomatoes when we're having tacos or if I'm making spaghetti or something like that. What I do is freeze it when we're not using it because I waste nothing. That's the PMS in me, okay? And for you all, you already know, that's the Paris Mark Smith coming out of me. I'm not a wasteful girl. I'm a resourceful girl. So these are tomatoes, you know, see? And I have tomatoes in there, I have basil in there, and I have all type of different seasons, cilantro, onions, because whatever we don't use, I put up and I freeze so we can reuse, okay? So I'm going to take this and I'm going to empty this over here in there. Empty those tomatoes over in there. And it's already seasoned, like I said. It has, to, to, it has the cilantro, it has onions, it has basil, it has fresh Italian parsley in there. And we're going to Turn it up just a little bit and let it start simmering. Now, so I have my cornstarch here with just a little water. I got a little bit over a half a teaspoon. And I'm going to whisk it up a little bit because we don't want to have the little uh, balls in there. We want it to be mixed very well. So I got it mixed up very well. I'm going to pull that over in there. And I'm going to let that start to simmer. Now, what I do want to do is I have some fresh parsley here. I have fresh parsley here, and I want to add some fresh parsley to it. And I got quite a bit because I love parsley, so I'm going to add that to it. Another thing I have that I want to add to this sauce is I have myself some, some Sweet Wonder peppers, guys. I have myself some Sweet Wonder pepper. I have yellow, and I have orange, and I have red peppers. And I want to add that to it because peppers are just, it wakes up the flavor of the food for me. Because I don't cook with salt, unless it's a must need, but I don't cook with salt. So I try to watch out for my sodium. So you should do the same. So another thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add me some onions in here. And I got a little bit over, I have a small onion. That's a small onion. So we're gonna mix this up really well and get it together, get it married together. And then we're gonna let that cook. I'm gonna add just a little bit more water because I want a nice thick and I want enough sauce. All right, so we got that all mixed up. And now that we have that mixed up, I'm gonna um, direct my attention over here to the meat. And I want you all to see this meat. So, okay, guys, so another thing that I want to do that I forgot to do is I have these portobello mushrooms over here. And, again, these are leftovers, right? I love mushrooms. I incorporate them in everything. So I'm going to take my mushrooms, and I'm going to add my mushrooms and my meat because I want those to simmer with that meat and get the flavor of the meat. And I keep saying meat, but it's not meat. It's my Beyond Meat. 
So I'm going to add those mushrooms to that Beyond Meat so that it can simmer in there and the flavors can all um, marry up in those mushrooms. And we all have ourselves a very nice, hearty, wholesome, healthy meal. And it's all plant-based, okay? So the rest of this mushroom, it'll cook throughout the lasagna while it's in the oven. Because I'm going to put that in the oven at 350 and I'll let it bake. But I'm just trying to get some of it to brown, some of the lasagna, I mean some of the, uh, the Beyond Meat and some of the mushrooms to brown. Just a little bit. I don't need to have it all brown. And I also want to give you all a good look at it. Doesn't it look good? Mmm. It's the aroma for me. So let's keep that going. And then let's turn the heat down just a little bit because you don't want to overcook it. Because I've overcooked it before and the density of it kind of left. So it was kind of flimsy. And I, I want it thick because I want it to resemble meat. You understand? I want it to have the texture of a regular meat. So you see the sauce is boiling and it's getting thicker. You can see it simmering and you can also see how it's getting thicker. So it's going to get much thicker and turn into a pasty. And that's what I like. I like a rich sauce. I don't want a little flea market sauce, okay? I want something that's rich and hearty and good for the soul because food is something that you gather around. And if it's good, it brings out conversation and it brings out love and laughter and joy. And that's what I cook for. I cook for joy and love. I love to cook. I've been cooking all my life. And for you all that know me, and for you all that don't know me, a lot of my tomatoes that's in here are tomatoes that I myself grew over the summer. So I didn't want anything to go to waste. I never want anything to go to waste. So I always freeze them before they go bad, you know? When I see them ripen and they're ripening fast and getting ready to go bad, before it turns bad, I'm going to freeze it. I chop it up and freeze it. Sometimes I even freeze them whole because as I'm making soup and stew and stuff, I use it in there. So there you have it. So we'll let that simmer a little bit. So now what I've done is I've transported my meat with my sauce over here. I have my noodles here and I have the noodles that I have prepared. Now what I'm going to do now is take my spoon and I'm going to start building this lasagna. And I also guys have myself some Miyoki's vegan uh, Parmesan cheese too guys. So I'm going to put me a little of that throughout them. Oh, and look at that guys. Looks delicious, and again, it's the aroma, all right? So we're gonna take our uh, miyaki cheese. Well, this is the uh, this is the Vita cheese. We're gonna take this cheese and add it through here. Now, it don't melt like regular cheese, but when it mixed with the sauce and, and the consistency of the sauce and the different vegetables and stuff, it, it stays a little soft, so then it's not as hard as some of the cheese that I have sat tried. Then we're going to take the Miyoki um, mozzarella cheese. Blend that all together. Yes, beautiful. Beautiful. Then we're going to start layering it again. So we're laying it with our wheat. Lasagna shells. I'm going to take some of my Parmesan cheese and just give it a little crumble, you know? Let's get some parsley and let's sprinkle it throughout. As I'm back and I got that lasagna out the oven and look at it. But doesn't it look delicious? Well, I have you know it is. It's very delicious. Ooh, let's cut into her. O-M-G. And look at that cheese. Don't tell me that vegan cheese won't get it done. Because doesn't it look delicious? Ooh, look at it. Look at that. Vegan cheese. 